is going on YouTube? My name is Lucas and today we're going to be talking about American battery metals but it is also known as American battery technology. This is a very up and coming penny stock. It's going to be in a very very up and coming sector and I'm extremely extremely excited to bring this to you because of well they're doing a lot of amazing things for the EV sector lithium and everything that revolves around that. So if you're interested in this I suggest you stay tuned right after this. Before we dive into lithium, before we dive into recycled batteries, before we dive into electrical vehicles, I ask that you guys smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, comment down below, and now it's time to get into the video. Let's go! So you guys know that the EV sector absolutely erupted on the scene in 2020. They were coming at you in the SPAC form. They were coming at you in an IPO form. They were bringing it at you, you know, in different avenues like the battery sector. They were bringing it in all kinds of technology sectors. Things that go in. I mean, the EV sector erupted and it was just here. And, you know, some of that is still actually occurring. You know, this is purely excitement. I mean, we got to understand that we are pushing for a renewable future. We're pushing for a lot greener future. And so electrical vehicles are going to be a very significant and have a very significant role in that you know moving forward i mean there's no question so with that being said we have to start taking into consideration things that are going to help boost these electrical vehicles what are going to help and assist get these vehicles a more efficient what are going to help them you know charge what are going to help them really just become our everyday vehicle i mean i keep continuously talking about charging stations but now I'm going to dive in and provide you some information on batteries. And I think that this company is doing some amazing things. And that's why I really wanted to provide it to you. So what we're going to find out is that this company is actually called American Battery Metals Corporation. But they're in the process of changing their name and eventually, hopefully, we'll see a ticker change. And basically what they're trying to do is create the entire idea that they are a technology company. So their new name that they're trying to go by is American Battery Technology Company. And so now we're going to find out exactly what that's all about. Uh, basically, American Battery Technology Company is uniquely positioned to supply battery metals through its three divisions. Lithium ion battery recycling, which is a huge, huge part. Extraction technology and primary resources. The company recently announced the groundbreaking of its lithium ion battery recycling facility in Fernley, Nevada, and issued a recent shareholder letter outlining achievements of the past year. I think that's absolutely amazing. I mean, I really do. I think you got to understand how much, you know, the significance of lithium, especially moving forward in not only just EVs, but then you're talking about, you know, battery packs for, you know, computers. You're talking about cell phones. You're talking about a lot of things that really, truly use lithium. And so that that's an, an extreme importance right there. American Battery Technology Company has built a clean technology platform that increases production of primary metals used in batteries that power electric cars, grid storage applications, consumer electronics, and tools. So a very key piece that I found from that as well is obviously they're very, you know, hitting on the fact that power electric cars, but the next major piece when we're talking about renewable energy and really a direction when we're talking about moving forward, it hits it right there, grid storage applications. And if you guys can think, there's two things right there that I believe Tesla is doing amazing, amazing things at. So we'll see what we got going on here. Um, continuing on, the green platform creates a circular economy for battery metals that champions ethical and environmentally sustainable sourcing of critical materials. So again, I think that the reason why I'm really focusing on this company is because obviously a renewable future. We now have a current president and we have a current vice president who really are seeing you know the future when it comes to renewable energy they're really pushing green energy and rightfully so i mean no matter what your viewpoints really are that is something that is going to be very significant moving forward for the entire world and you know you would like to see the united states and, and many other countries 
really support in that idea because you know we want the earth to last last as long as possible we want to be able to survive here as long as possible and we want to have our climate and basically our you know our way of living to to be sustainable so obviously you want to see this continue to happen and as we continue to evolve in this sector in the entire renewable aspect we're going to dive in and really start getting into some news really kind of give you some perspective on what the company is doing so swing it on over here american battery metals corporation soon to be renamed american battery technology company abtc is an industry leading clean technology innovator that has been created to increase the production of primary metals used in batteries that power electric cars, grid storage applications, and consumer electronics. ABTC has built its capabilities to produce uh, these battery metals through three business divisions. Number one is recycling of lithium ion batteries to recover battery metals. Extraction from primary resources is number two. And number three is exploration of new primary resources. Together, the three approaches comprise a unique technologies platform that ensures battery metals are domestically sourced and reused in an environmentally friendly closed loop fashion. ABTC's multi-pronged approach builds the foundation for a circular economy of battery metals that supports a global shift away from fossil fuel energy so uh, sources. And basically it continues on to talk about our primary near-term objective is to escalate commercial applications of our first-of-a-kind lithium-ion battery recycling and extraction capacities. Currently, we are developing a physical pilot factory, expanding our technology and management team, positioning our technology platform for commercial deployment, and building strategic partnerships. And I think that that's where it's very key. Because as they create basically this cycle of batteries, you know, there's a lot of EV companies out there that are really pushing to do you know, the next amazing thing with batteries. And every time I think about this, immediately comes to my mind is Tesla. Tesla is very close to where this location is currently at. And, you know, I think that there's going to be some ties there. I just, I, I have a gut feeling that there might be some ties there. But either way you look at it, EVs are pushing to have the longevity of batteries. They're looking to have the most efficient batteries. They're looking for, you know, every way possible to create the ultimate battery. And so I think that companies like this are going to be, you know, continuing to come to the forefront and really be leaders in this industry because without the actual battery, without the source of to the car or the whatever vehicle that is electric, this is the guts. This is the heart of the car. I mean, this is what makes this thing go. And if you want to have the best of the best, you got to find companies like this that are willing to do that and trying to do the best that they possibly can. Obviously, Panasonic did a deal with Tesla and you know, there's other things that are going on But I just you know, you got to keep in the back of your mind that these up-and-coming companies have new technologies They're being very innovative. They're being very creative and they can easily be acquired They can easily have an equity stake put into them So these are things to keep in the back of your mind as you start to see companies like this pop up Specifically in this sector So recently this company hit a major major milestone and really I kind of hit on it in the, the previous information I provided but now I'm gonna go into a little bit more information because this is what is going to allow this company to take the next steps Obviously as smaller companies like this continue to progress these milestones will be achieved and that is how we start to see some Revolutionary things especially in sectors like this. So swinging on over here. It says American Battery Technology Company, ABTC, today announced updates on critical milestones it had achieved on the path to opening its pilot uh, lithium-ion battery recycling plant, plant excuse me, in Fernley, Nevada. Over the past three months, ABTC has achieved three critical milestones that enable the company to move ahead in permitting, constructing, and commissioning its pilot lithium-ion battery recycling plant in Fernley, Nevada. Purchased the uh, pilot factory. Basically, they ended up go ahead and purchased 12.44 acres of undeveloped land, and basically it goes into really what was you know there and why this is significant. So it says ABTC will be constructing five separate building areas on its property to create a pilot plant campus that includes production process area, feedstock sorting area, analytical laboratory spaces and process development bays a storage warehouse and general office space. So really, they're kind of creating a campus, which sounds absolutely amazing. 
It says that they secured the water rights. So it says ABTC has secured multiple water allocations from Fernley Area Basin. Um, and it goes into detail on those five regions. By securing these water rights, ABTC ensures it can operate its pilot facility uh, at full thorough put and with adequate water capacity for many years to come. Very awesome. It says they hired and designed a building construction firm. So all this information that they are providing basically is informing us of what they're accomplishing by starting this you know, plant. And it's absolutely amazing to see. It says ABTC is making great strides to construct our pilot lithium ion battery recycling facility in Fernley, Nevada as quickly as possible. We are grateful for Nevada's support to do so. At full capacity, our pilot facility will recycle 20,000 metric tons of feedstock a year to recover critical and strategic materials needed to manufacture new EV and consumer electronic batteries. And to ensure these lithium ion batteries do not end up in the landfill as a waste, said CEO Doug Cole. So again, renewable energy, starting fresh, creating a clean environment. I mean, these are the companies you want to see do successful things like that, especially when they're really pushing forward and really kind of going after it and, and creating the facility to be able to recycle these batteries is amazing. Obviously, they're wanting to do more because they're wanting to change their name to a technology company. So I'm sure at some point down the line, we're going to start to see a lot more come from this company. Now, we have come to my favorite part of any video, and that is chart breaking down time. So let's swing on over here and check American Battery Metals Corporation current ticker symbol ABML. So today it opened at $1.49. It got as high as $1.98. Its low was $1.47. Its volume was $19.08 million. Market cap currently is $902.9 million. 52-week high is $1.98. 52-week low is $0.70. Cents, and its average volume is $10.76 million. Uh, this is an over-the-counter stock, um, and it is currently trading. Yeah, it's currently trading on the over-the-counter. Uh, it closed today at $1.94. It was up. 34.40 percent and as you can see that is very very you know demonstrated in this one day chart it has had a continuous run up um you know there's just a lot of things that i think have are going to be catalysts for this stock moving forward a lot of the interest that is going to be revolving around the fact that they are within lithium i think lithium is going to be just you know any stock that is involved with lithium is going to have some very kind of heavy eyes on it um, and, and rightfully so. I mean, those are going into all different types of batteries, which then are going into all different types of electronics. And clearly we are electronic driven. I mean, our cars are becoming electronic. I, I'm clearly providing this information to you through an iPad, which is running on a, a battery. I mean, my cell phone at which I'm looking over here to provide the chart to you is on a battery. I mean, everything that is kind of around me at this moment is on a battery. So lithium and batteries and really just technology in the future are extremely extremely important so we can see why a company like this is going to have such a significance moving forward you know years and years and years ahead i really appreciate you swinging by and checking out this video it, it means an absolute ton guys we are just doing some amazing things on this channel and i really really appreciate it i appreciate it from the bottom of my heart you guys are showing absolute love you guys are showing some amazing support and i can't Thank you enough. I do want to remind you guys, I am not a financial advisor and anything I say in this video is for pure entertainment purposes only. And that's exactly what I'm here to do is entertain. And you guys know how I do it. If you like this video, smash that like button. It helps out tremendously. And if you enjoy the content because I'm going to keep the content flowing, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, have a good day.